Hello, I am Professor Matilda Stein. I see you. I'm going to take you through nutrition and dietetics. You are most welcome into my class and I hope you enjoy the 13 weeks that I'll be working with you. If you have any challenge, you can contact me through my email. And the course is going to cover nutrition throughout the life cycle. We shall learn about the nutrients, how they impact on our health. But today, I'm going to give you an overview and some definitions that you will that will help you to go through the course and understand it easily. Yes, so our learning outcome for today's course is to understand and be able to explain basic terminologies in nutrition and dietetics. We shall talk about food, what is food, what is food science, what is nutrition, and what is dietetics. The two are not the same. Then what are nutrients? So at the end of this course, today's lecture, we should be able to understand these principles that will help us in the consequent classes. What is food? It is anything solid or liquid that is eaten and does not harm the body. What that means is that anything that we drink from cocoa to potom to eating fufu, which is solid, it is food. So we should understand food. And food means different to different people. So if you eat something and somebody doesn't eat it, doesn't mean that it is not food. Our culture, our background, and where we grew up, all these influence the foods that we eat. And anything that we eat, if it is food, it should provide us with energy, materials for growth, maintenance, repair of body tissues, reproduction, substances which help regulate body processes. So anything that we eat that does not fall into this category to provide us with these uh, provisions, then it means that it is not food. What is food science? Food science is a discipline that applies engineering, biology, and physical sciences to study the nature of food. That is what goes into that particular food, why it is the way it is. The causes of spoilage, what causes the food to spoil, to spoil is one aspect of food science study. Then food processing, for example, changing our tomatoes into tomato paste is an example of food processing. Improvement of foods for the consuming public. We know we are all workers. Most of the time, some of us want convenient foods, and it is the food scientist who does that. And I'm sure you all buy processed chips, cornflakes, you buy uh, canned fish. It is the work of the food scientists. They do this. But however, the nutritionists guard against this thing by looking at the nutrient composition in this package or processed foods. So the food scientist all the time works hand in hand with the nutritionist. And as a, a nurse, you need to understand some of these things so that you can apply them as you manage your clients. Now, what is nutrition? Nutrition is the science that deals with how the body receives food and how the body uses this food for all the bodily processes, for example, growth, maintenance, and to maintain good health. It is very, very important. So if you take children, for example, they are growing. They need good quality food to help them grow. And when we talk of nutrition, if you are not eating well, it may lead us into what we call malnutrition. And when we talk of malnutrition, there are two sides to malnutrition. Overnutrition, meaning that we are eating the food in excess. And when we talk of undernutrition, it means we are not getting enough of the nutrients. So be it over or under, both of them have negative impact on our health. So we need to understand that if we eat too much than what is needed, and we also don't eat too much, we have consequences. So we have to eat in moderation that the body needs. What is dietetics? Dietetics is an aspect of nutrition which applies the principles of nutrition to manage health. And that has to do more with the diet and how it is used to treat diseases, to treat diseases. So the best aspect of dietetics is to prevent and treat diseases and maintain health. But it applies the principles of nutrition and some understanding of food science. Because when you are dealing with clients to eat certain foods, you need to understand some of the foods that are processed. For example, if salt is added to any processed food, it is the dietitian who will help you to understand. And as a nurse, you need to understand some of these things. 
the majority of our dietitians work in healthcare units. We also see them in educational system research as well as other food industry. So it is important that we understand. So even with our nursing, we can still be an agent for a food industry where we can give them advice concerning some of the foods that they process. What are nutrients? Yes, I mentioned earlier on that food is anything solid or liquid that we eat. But this food contains chemical substances, and these chemical substances are known as nutrients. And the nutrients include carbohydrates, lipids or fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals or elements, and water. It is important that you know that water is also a nutrient. Water is also a nutrient. So it is important that we drink water. What is nutrition transition? Currently, I'm sure some of you can think back, even when you were very little, that the foods you used to eat, you are no longer eating them. That is what we mean by transition. So changing food from what we used to consume to unhealthy ones. And that is what is happening now in Ghana. So we are seeing a lot of people eating unhealthy foods. And this is coupled also with sedentary lifestyle. We are not being physically active. We are sitting at one place. What is the outcome of this behavior? Increased prevalence of overweight, obesity, and associated non-communicable diseases. And when we talk of non-communicable disease, it means that when you have it, it is you alone who has that disease. For example, diabetes. When somebody has diabetes, you cannot infect somebody. So, and overweight or and obesity has been found to be one single determinant of non-communicable diseases in the world. What are the sources of food that we have as human beings? We get food from both plants and or animal sources. These are the two major sources that we have. Yes, and we have some in the form of fresh foods. However, because they deteriorate very fast, the fresh foods, for example, when we have our vegetables, our tomatoes, our garden, as our okra, even meat, if we don't store them, they will spoil. So we need to preserve them. And that is where the food scientists or food processing comes in. Yes, another reason why we need to process the food is that they are seasonal. Sometimes we lose some over the season. For example, sometimes we get a lot of tomatoes at one season. In another season, we don't have tomatoes. When we take yam, for example, there are times we have a lot of yams, certain times we don't have them. So it is important that we process some of these foods so that we store them. So it is also important to know which foods are in season so that we can get the best value for our money. So it is very, very important to understand these things so that we, as we educate our clients regarding foods, we know foods that are in season so that they can go and make use of their money. So our take home message today is we should be able to list reasons why the nest needs to learn and understand nutrition and dietetics. It is very, very important. From what I have discussed so far, I am sure you'll be able to list some and explain why as a nurse you need to understand nutrition and dietetics and next week i'll be talking about macronutrients which is our first nutrient that i listed carbohydrates carbohydrates we eat first and foremost to satisfy energy needs and our energy foods come from carbohydrates and that is what we shall be talking about next week so see you read your readings before you come in next week.